makeup and hair tutorial. Yeah, I got a hair tutorial in for you guys as well. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is my Modern Glam makeup and hair look. I'm so happy with how it came out. A lot of you guys are aware that I work at Life Pharmacy here in New Zealand somewhere. <laughs> I know you guys know pretty much where I work, but anyways, I just won't disclaim it too much. Um, so they've just recently launched the balm, which is so freaking exciting, like so exciting. We've never had the balm here in New Zealand, so now it's going to be sold at Unikens and Life Pharmacies. And you guys will know I'm such a huge advocate for the balm. I, if I'm not using like one product, I'm using like three or four in a tutorial. I just love the quality of their products. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to showcase the balm. And it qualifies for a cruelty free makeup look as well, which I haven't done in the last two months for you guys who are more conscious for that sort of stuff. So it's just like a triple whammy and I'm so happy. <laughs> ah, you ready? Say hi. Hi everyone. I talk to my dog like a person, it's so bad. I think a lot of people do that. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm just gonna clip my hair back with this little do-raggy thing. Please excuse my voice if it's somewhat husky. Um, I just, I'm just getting over the flow at the moment, so that'll be why I kind of sound like a man. So basically, I'm gonna prime my skin first. Even though I'm gonna be doing my eyes technically first, I just wanna make sure that like my eyes are primed and stuff as well. So to prep my eyes before I lay down the shadow, I'm gonna be using Time Balm, and this is the concealer. Comes with a really cute applicating sponge, and I'm just gonna apply that over both lids. My eyes are prepped with concealer. I need to make sure that I set them. There is nothing worse than getting that really rolly kind of look about your eyeshadow. See, um, you can already see that my concealer is starting to roll. It's very, very normal because it's a crease area, so you need to set it with a powder. So I'm gonna be working from the Meet Matte Nude palette. So I'm gonna be setting my eyelid with the matte Molly. Gonna take it all the way up to the brow. I'm not too worried about the color at the moment, even though it might look a little too light. What I'm gonna do is take matte setting, so it's kind of like a nude toned shadow. This way, when I try and cut out a crease, it's not like a heavy, um, deep shadow. Uh, you, I don't know, it's just a little bit more forgiving, if you know what I mean. Like, you're not gonna have like a really heavy indent when you're applying it, um, so it's a nice kind of guided line. And I'm gonna be using an angle brush to apply it. Working from the same shadow, I'm now going to take a bit more of a fluffy brush and run it along that line and start to blend it out. So taking the white matte eyeshadow that I used earlier on to set the base um, and onto my concealer, I'm just going to take like a flat pan brush and take it right up to where I cut that crease out so I can get it really nice and crisp. I'm going to be intensifying the line now, so I'm going to be using Matte Rosin and I'm going to use a really nice fine detailed brush just to get along that line. So now I want to add a little bit of glimmer to the lid and I'm going to be using the Sex Pot in the colour No Money No Honey and I'm just going to pat it on with a flat pan brush. Done. I'm gonna move on to my wing liner and I always feel like this is like such a big part of the look and I'm so happy I get to use Schwinging. It is one of my favorite liquid liners. If you look at the tip, it is honestly like the most flexy, detailed um, applicator I've ever used. Like it just glides, it just glides so smoothly on the eyelid. Like, oh, it's just a dream to work with. So. My camera is totally on an angle, isn't it? Like, it's slanting. I can see it. I'm going like this a little bit. <laughs> um, so now I've done my wing liner. Sometimes I do find it a little bit difficult when I've laid down quite a thick texture of eyeshadow. You get a little bit of bump. So I'm going to clean that up with um, shadow later on. So I'm going to wax some mascara on these lashes, get them nice and thick before I lay down my lashes. And this one is called What's Your Type? <laughs> God. I'm real bummed about my eye shape. Like I have one lazy eye like this one. Has a little bit more of a skin fold because they do get quite hooded when I'm tired. So getting like a really even cut crease on my lids 
seems to be so difficult. But anyways, I try my best, so if they don't look right, it's because I have one lazy eye. <laughs> For their foundation, I'm going to be using their Balm Shelter, and it's more of a tint, so I am going to have to build it up to quite a full coverage, because we all know what I'm like. I, I find it very hard to go somewhat even medium. Time bar the concealer. I'm just going to conceal it under my eyes. I'm not going to use the sponge this time. I'm going to use a brush to apply it, because I want quite a thick application. I'm quite dark today. I think because I'm sleep deprived and been quite sick, so... Just get right in there and then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender and of course I'm just going to get in here a little bit more. I always like these little bits kind of discarded. So now to warm up my complexion I'm going to be using the Bahama Mama and I'm just going to be putting it on the highest points of my cheekbones. Again I say this all the time but it's kind of a stock standard kind of thing. Um, and I'm not going to do too much heavy contouring or anything, um, just keep it nice and subtle. So to highlight, I'm going to use the very infamous Mary Lou, one of the best highlighters ever, 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 ever. So I'm just going to use a very small detailed brush to apply it on the highest points of my cheekbones. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose and then on my cupid's bow as well. So for my brows, I'm going to be using their Brow Power Powder and I'm going to go with the colour Light Brown. I kind of forgot to do my blush, um, but because my lips are going to be quite a nice like red, I kind of want it to slightly contrast the same through my cheeks. So I'm going to use that in this stain and this is the colour Hound's Tooth random um, and yeah I'm gonna place it more to the apples on my cheeks than anywhere else uh, just to give it nice rouge effect quite a lot of blush <laughs> girl went OTT on the blush so going back to my meat matte nudes I'm gonna be using the same rose in color and this is just going to go underneath my waterline and I'm going to blend it out softly. Again with the matte nude palette, I'm now going to be taking matte wood and I'm just going to be edging out very closely along my lash line, maybe like quarter of the way into the eye just to sharpen it up that little bit. Now for my bottom lashes, back with the mascara I was using before. Okay, so the two liquid lipsticks that I'm going to be mixing together is going to be Meet Matt Hughes in the colour Loyal and Trustworthy. So I've got a little bit more of a deeper tone. I don't want a completely like cherry lip, so I'm going to be mixing it with a deeper tone today. You know, I'm not really digging the white in my eyes for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm just going to put black in there instead. So I'm going to use Mr. Right Now um, Cold Pencil. So now that the whole makeup look is done, I'm going to show you guys how I create really nice soft wavy glamorous curls to go with this makeup look. I generally take quite thin amounts of hair, so take it from behind because I want my curls to go back and just do this all over. off to the side as opposed to through the middle because what I really want to do is create that really nice voluminous kind of side sweeping um, fringe. And I'm just going to practically just like comb it all out with my fingers first and give it some nice volume. Now what I'm going to do is just flip a little bit more of my hair over to one side, pat down the side and clip it behind my ear. guys there is my modern glam hair and makeup tutorial really hope you guys have enjoyed this look I am friggin obsessed with it I'm so happy with how it came out 
So glad I was able to do a cruelty free look again. Um, I have been meaning to do another tutorial with cruelty free using all of the balms. So I'm so stoked about that. So if you guys have enjoyed this makeup look and hair look, um, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a part of my channel. Everything that you need to know about this look and the products and about the balm and things like that will be down in the description box for you guys to go check out. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye.